14 here. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different because you will be able to see just my screen of the Chromebook. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. But let's get to the point. Today we're going to be looking at how to make your Chrome OS device a little more OS friendly. Now there's no denying that Chrome OS is a beautiful operating system, but it sometimes it feels like it's just a Chrome browser, which it is. But there are many ways to get around this and make everything look like a dedicated app and it just looks great with the system. Right now on your device, when you press uh, any icon, for example, if you pressed a shortcut app you put down here, it would open in a tab like it should because it's all Chrome. But sometimes you just want, for example, music to open up like a app on your computer if you're opening iTunes or something. Now there's a way to do that. It automatically opens like this in its own window. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's like an application that's built into the computer. This is really nice and it gives it that uh, normal operating system flow and doesn't make it feel like it's a web browser all the time. I'll show you another example. You can do that with YouTube where it also does that, opens up in this window. And of course, if you do not want it to open up in the window after you change these settings that I'm going to show you, you just press with, uh, you right click any of the icons and press open in tab as a check mark. So you can see for the example, the verge over here, I have open in tab checked. All right, let's get down to business. To do this, you will open up Google Chrome and at the very top in the search box, you'll erase everything and type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. You press enter and you'll be greeted with this page right here. Careful, these experiments may bite. Now to get to the ones we're looking for, you're going to, uh, on your keyboard, press control F and you should get this little box in the right hand corner over here. You're gonna type in hosted and the only one that pull up should be enable experimental streamlined hosted apps. And you're gonna press enable. Right now it says disable because I have these enabled but you're just gonna type in enable now this is really really cool because now all your apps or chrome shortcuts including the ones in your drawer will automatically open up in their own window unless you you know use two fingers or right click and select open in tab so they all feel like apps the other one you're going to want to do is type in settings now on your chrome os when you press this button and go to settings it opens up in a tab which doesn't really feel like an operating system it just feels like chrome settings on your desktop if you type in enable here this chrome settings will open up as you can see in its own chrome settings window so it feels like you're on a regular operating system these things are not made to majorly overhaul your system just to add nice little tweaks that are really really cool one more super cool thing to do is to go over here and once you do these settings for example the streamline hosted apps which we did earlier uh, let's say you go to gizmodo.com if you press the three bars over here on the right hand corner the settings or the menu button go down to more tools and you'll see an option has been added that wasn't there before add a shortcut to this website and when you press that button it says put the title open as in a tab or you know if you uncheck that it'll open up in a web window like a regular app but we'll leave it open as a tab for now when you press add we'll X out of it and if you see at the bottom it placed it like a regular app and if you go to your app drawer and go to the next window it shows life hacker oh well I don't know why I didn't put gizmodo there but it does put it there so you see right here the Gizmodo app and we can unpin that so you can create any app you can see I have the verge here uh, if there's something that's not supported you can put an eBay shortcut there we'll go over here and do eBay real fast So this is really nice without having to do any hacks or anything you have built-in ways to make shortcuts so they act like apps that are on the system so you can see now I have the eBay down there at the bottom and it's also here in my app drawer eBay so that is super cool. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make your Chrome OS device a little more uh, non-browsery. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, please shoot me a comment. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, like I've said a few times already. Um, and please watch this advertisement coming up because without advertisers like these, I would not be able to give you these high quality videos. So I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the advertisement.